Hello, and welcome to another RPD video. Today, we'll cover an introduction to RPDs. A removable partial denture, or RPD, is a prosthesis that replaces some of the patient's missing teeth and can be placed in and out of the patient's mouth at will. They come in many different shapes and configurations, and in this lecture, we'll go over some of the components that make up the partial denture. The edentulous pan, or saddle, is the area of the arch that is devoid of teeth. It can be bound on both ends with teeth, in which case it's called a bounded saddle, or unbound on one of the ends, in which case it's called an unbound or free end saddle. The abutment teeth are teeth that aid in the support and retention of the RPD. They are usually adjacent to the edentulous areas or at the corners of the RPD. The artificial plastic teeth are teeth made out of cross-linked polymer with different shapes and sizes to choose from. The denture base is made out of pink heat-cured PMMA, or polymethyl methacrylate. It polymerizes by the application of heat in a specialized processing tank. The outer surface of the denture base is called the cameo surface. The internal surface is called the intaglio surface. The metal framework is underneath. It's usually made out of a rigid metal, most commonly cobalt chromium, but other metals are used as well. We will cover those in later videos. Where the outside of the metal framework meets the outside of the denture base, we have an external acrylic resin finish line. And on the inside, we have an internal acrylic resin finish line. Showing through the acrylic resin here is what we call a tissue stop. It's an area of the framework that sticks out of the acrylic resin and functions to support the partial denture during processing. The acrylic resin holds onto the metal framework using acrylic resin retention elements on the framework. These can be either a lattice or a meshwork. The major connector is the component of the metal framework that connects both sides of the partial denture. The minor connectors highlighted in green are the smaller rigid connectors that connect the major connector to the other components of the partial. One of those major components are clasp assemblies. Clasp assemblies are made out of a retentive clasp, a rest, a reciprocal element, and a guide plate. Now let's talk about each of those separately, starting with the rest. The rest is a component of the metal framework that rests within the rest seat, which is a prepared area on the tooth. Its main function is to direct the occlusal forces along the long axis of the teeth. If we move away the rests, now you can see the rest seats underneath. As we had mentioned previously, the rest seats are prepared areas on the teeth that you would remove with a burr to create space for the rest. An RPD with edentulous spans that have abutment teeth on either end of it are considered to be totally tooth supported. Other RPDs that have only one end of it supported with an abutment tooth are considered to be tooth tissue supported. Other partials have no rests at all, like temporary partial dentures. These don't have any rests and are totally tissue supported. Retentive undercuts exist gingival to the height of contour. The height of contour is marked with a survey line, which is a line that marks the height of contour of a tooth. This is done during surveying, which we will cover in another video. Retentive clasps engage those undercuts in order to retain the partial denture. Uh, for example, this person here has not very good retention. Based on the way these clasps approach the undercut, they can be classified into an occlusally approaching clasp that approaches the undercut from an occlusal direction, or a gingivally approaching clasp that approaches the undercut from a gingival direction. Whenever a clasp crosses over a height of contour, it tends to push the tooth in the opposite direction. Because of this, we need a reciprocating force to prevent the tooth from moving orthodontically over time, something like a beam struggle you would expect in some sci-fi movies. This is a feature we call reciprocation and is provided by a reciprocating element. Reciprocation can be provided by any rigid component on the other side of a retentive clasp, like a reciprocal clasp, minor connectors and plates, or just a metal plate. As you can see here, a reciprocal clasp or a lingual plate provide reciprocation by directly opposing the retentive forces. On the other hand, a minor connector and a plate provide two smaller forces to balance out the major retentive force coming from the retentive clasp. Lastly, we'll talk about the guide plates and the guide planes. The guide plates are flat areas on the metal framework that rest against flat prepared areas on the tooth called the guide planes. Together, they guide the partial denture along a planned path of insertion and removal. And that was it for this video. We hope you enjoyed it and we hope it was informative and we'll see you again in the next video.